There are currently at least nine different places in our solar system that we think could host extraterrestrial life. Hi, I'm Kim. I'm a telescope operator, astronomer, and VTuber, and I'm here to tell you about astronomy and answer your questions. Venus is really, really fucking hot. It is the hottest planet in our solar system. However, the upper layers of Venus' atmosphere may have conditions similar to Earth. So it's possible that there are some floating small little organisms up there. A few years ago, there was a huge buzz about how we found phosphine on Venus, which is probably a biosignature because nothing else could be responsible for that phosphine. Shortly after that study came out, there were flaws found in it. There were two reasons that that paper was flawed. One was that uh, they used two different methods to observe it. I think it was just two different observatories. One of the observatories whose data they used, they actually only found one of its spectral lines. So you see all of these elements have fingerprints that are a multitude of spectral lines. But this study said, oh look, we found this singular line that is present in phosphine spectra. We must have found phosphine. The other observatory whose data they used, I think they used ALMA. And Alma said about a week after publication that there had actually been flaws in their observing last night and that that data wasn't valid. So the phosphine on Venus thing, forget about it. Some people are still following up on it. People haven't completely given up hope, but don't get too excited. If anyone says, oh my God, extraterrestrial life, don't listen to them. Continuing outwards from Venus, obviously there's Mars. I fucking hate Mars. Mars is so overrated. We have put so much money into exploring Mars. Like, let's go somewhere else. I'm so fucking tired of Mars. But Mars is another place that we think could possibly have or have in the past had extraterrestrial life. Past Mars in the asteroid belt is Ceres. Ceres is an asteroid. I don't know a ton about it, but I think it may have had or may have water. Moving past that, we're getting to the really exciting stuff right now. Orbiting Jupiter are three possible candidates for hosting extraterrestrial life. The Galilean moons of Jupiter are Jupiter's four largest moons. Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Io is the most geologically active body in our solar system. And the other three Galilean moons of Jupiter are uh, all icy moons that may have subsurface oceans of liquid water. Subsurface oceans are the shit in astrobiology. So Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto may have subsurface oceans. Anywhere on Earth that we find water, we also find life. So we follow the water, and it's here. Especially here. Europa is genuinely my favorite thing in the entire fucking universe. Moving past that, Titan is a moon of Saturn that has a very thick atmosphere and is rich in methane, and I think also ethane. Um, its surface is similar to Earth, except instead of water oceans, it's got liquid methane. And there's actually been a lander on Titan. This is a picture from the Huygens probe, which was attached to Cassini and lasted on Titan for about 45 minutes. And it landed on the surface and took this picture. And we might go back to Titan. They're planning what is called the Dragonfly mission, which would be a little drone helicopter thing that flies around Titan. People speculate that Titan would be a great place for methane-based life, but also it's possible that Titan also has a subsurface ocean. Continuing on the subsurface ocean note, uh, orbiting Saturn is a moon called Enceladus. It is significantly smaller than Europa, but one of the Voyager probes observed geysers from Enceladus. So we are also pretty confident that Enceladus has a subsurface ocean. Anyway, continuing past Enceladus, orbiting Neptune is a moon called Triton. We do not know a lot about Triton because Neptune has not had any dedicated probes, but Triton is also suspected to have a subsurface ocean. And Triton is so pretty, look at it. So those are the places within our solar system that may host extraterrestrial life. 